past several months now, 13 Action News has been tackling the squatter problem around the valley with your help. During that time, we've worked with several agencies behind the scenes to help you fight back. Tonight, Contact 13 investigative reporter Stephanie Zeppelin tells us about one case where we got the wheels turning quickly to get some squatters out. With code enforcement, Metropolitan Police, and a few dogged 13 Action News viewers, the squatters are out, and it doesn't look like they're going to be coming back anytime soon. Drive down any number of blocks in our valley, and you're likely to find a foreclosed house. And there's always a chance squatters will be calling the house home. They said that they just bought the house and were moving and they were our new neighbors. That's what happened to Nathan Hess and his neighbors near Valley View in Charleston. And they actually had blueprints and were kind of passing it off as they were officially there. They were supposed to be there. They immediately did a few things. They reached out to 13 Action News, called Metro and Code Enforcement, and the problem got fixed. I think uh, the neighborhood kind of jumping in real quick and checking on it and just being vigilant. Nathan says the squatter showed up Tuesday and were gone with the house boarded up by Wednesday night. Every email you send us winds up getting reported to the agency responsible for handling squatter cases in your area. And in this case, it solved the problem. Stephanie Zeppelin, 13 Action News. So as always, if you need help dealing with squatters in your neighborhood, let us know. Just send an email to squatterspotters at ktnv.com and please include your name and phone number. From contact